Hey everyone, welcome back. We are here at Russell and Rob's Texas Gourmet Food in Fredericksburg, Texas. Uh, we're uh, taste testing some items today. I think we got uh, three different things. Uh, we've got the uh, the squash pickles. Uh, that's that's a nice one. Also the green tomato pickles, and um, then we've got the the watermelon rind pickles. Um, all three are, are kind of unique and um, really good. We've got some recipes to go over and different things like that. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I think let's do the squash pickles yeah, first. Sounds good. All right. So we've got some already uh, kind of sampled up here, ready to go. Uh, let's give it a good taste. It's got a nice kind of a texture to it. Nice coloration. Mm. Mm. Really Fla good. Yeah, flavor's really good on wow. these. Yeah. Real crunchy. Yeah, I quite like a that. quite a bit better than I was thinking it was going to be actually. Oh, yeah. That's really um, good. I know online we did a nice recipe for a um, yeah, a quick that. pickled squash salad. Yeah. Um, it was really good. So that's kind I of think something it had unique. Some, like, Yeah, really good. Yeah, like a nice, and you know what? You could really even use them in like any kind of salad yeah. or anything, or or maybe on some sandwiches or. Uh, yeah, just straight out of the jar. Straight honestly. out of the jar. Really good flavor. No doubt. All right, guys. Uh, next up, what do we got next? Uh, green tomato pickles. Um, these are kind of unique. I don't know if you guys yeah. know uh, green tomato pickles. Just an unripe tomato. Um, Interesting. It's kind of uh, kind of unique. They all go through a green uh, phase before they turn red, and um, that's kind of where they. They grab them off the vine and, and do some cool things with them. Okay. So um, let's give this one a taste. These are some nice chunks in here. These look really good. Mm. Mm. That's good. I like that. It doesn't taste as much like a tomato as I thought. You know, it. Uh, yeah. It's kind of got a unique flavor. Um, really good. Yeah. Another thing I would really honestly just eat straight out of the jar. Oh yeah. I really like that. Flavor. Yeah, no, you know, I, I believe it. I'd say yeah. it also maybe like on sandwiches or, oh, yeah. or uh, maybe with some barbecue, you know, like like oh, they do with I can pickles, see that. Barbecue. Like, like on the side or really good. salads. Even in a salad, yeah, I was gonna say salads. salads. That'd be good too. Um, so, anyways, uh, those are good green yeah, tomato yeah. pickles, and uh, then we've got the watermelon rind pickles. I'm one's, excited about this one. You like that one? Yeah. This one's unique. Um, they actually yeah. use the rind of the watermelon in these. That's interesting. It's um, kind of different. It's got very a, unique. Yeah, and it's kind of an old-fashioned recipe. Yeah. We get a lot of people in here that say it's just like their grandmother used to make them or something yeah. like that. Um, so anyways, let's All give right. them a try. Mm. Sweet. Really oh, yeah. Like right off the bat, real sweet. Not very mm. crunchy. No, soft texture. Good texture. I like that. There's some really nice flavor in there. I can't tell what it is. Maybe it's like... Um, cloves. It's cloves. Like, yeah. That's what it is. It's really good. We have a recipe online uh, for bacon wraps. Bacon wraps. Yeah, watermelon. Oh, that'd pickles. be good. Yeah. You wrap anything Eat in that bacon, it's gonna be good. That flavor with the sweet. It's oh amazing. yeah. Amazing. That's really good. All right. Oh, that's that. I have to say that might be one of you my like favorites. You like the watermelon, yeah. right? That's I'd really say good. out of these favorites, I probably like the squash pickles yeah. the best. Those are really good. Yeah, these are awesome. Um, yeah. Anyways, guys, you can always visit us online, uh, rustlandrobs.com, and uh, we're gonna be doing more taste testing videos. So feel free to check us out and um, tell your friends to check us out too. Talk to you later. See you next time.